same time, we have the Federal Reserve certainly signaling they're going to start coming off. They're going to start let, letting that balance sheet roll off some. We have even the ECB saying maybe they'll cut back on quantitative easing. What effect might that have on stock prices and other asset valuations? Well, I think they'll be pretty careful about how they do it. The, the, the Federal Reserve has about four and a half trillion in assets now, and it's, it's as I remember, it's a trillion seven or eight in mortgages and, and the balance in U.S. governments, and they can just let it. They can do it by maturity, but if they were to go back to the trillion or trillion and a half, that would be three trillion of maturing securities that they would not be taking up their piece on, and somebody else would have to do it. So. Uh, They'll be very careful about how they do it. So has quantitative easing worked? I mean, certainly it saved us. At the same time, it seems like there was sort of a trickle-down theory that if we increased asset prices and income to people making money off of assets, that somehow we'd get the economy going, and yet the average hourly wage is not going up as fast. No, but it, it, it did wonders for us coming out of 2008. Not without it, it would, you know, if we'd gone back to the, the economics of 100 years ago, you know, and. The, the Fed had not been there to the ease, and uh, we'd have had a far different recovery. No, I, I think the Fed has overwhelmingly done the right thing. Now, we've never gone through a period like this, and how it will all work out, you know, we will find out. I think they'll be intelligent about it, but they've never played this game yet either. <laughs>